All right, today we're going to be going over the basics of rotating in hardpoint, specifically using MW2 examples, uh, but the basic concept of rotating in hardpoint will generally be the same throughout any Call of Duty. Uh, so we're going to be going through basically the thought process uh, that you should have while you're rotating, you know, last 30 seconds or uh, 20 seconds of a hill uh, in your rank play matches. So let's get right into it. Okay, so the first thing we really want to address is where you were spawning and where the enemy team is spawning in that specific hill so obviously you have to learn the spawns a little bit play a little bit just to know the basics of where the enemy might be coming from and where your teammates are actually at uh, obviously your teammates you can see on your mini map but adjusting to where they're at on the map and where the enemy is at on the map is going to be rule number one because that's the basis for how you're going to be thinking uh during your rotation so general rule in call of duty is start rotating around you know the 30 second or 20 second mark in between that area but it really depends on the game and the hill you know in the jetpack games you could rotate a little bit later just because of how fast you can get across uh, the map but something like mw2 is more like 20 to 30 seconds but after learning the general spawns we're going to move into the first step in the process and that is just identifying what type of hill you're playing on so there are two different types of hills one where there is a back spawn and one where there isn't and they're just two parallel spawns where teams are spawning out so we'll take an example of, of each so one of the more notable examples of a hill with a back spawn is fortress p3 and obviously you'd you'd see this spawn all the time that's why it was so hard to break because teams would be spawning back here and you'd only have two lanes to start breaking from so this is where a back spawn is apparent and what teams would try and do on their rotation is obviously they're already spawning out towards the new hill whether it's like over here or over here so you're already spawning out towards this p4 so there's no real quote unquote rotation so the idea is just limit and contain the enemy team from actually escaping uh from their back spawn here so the basics of a trap setup you want to be covering these lanes so that they can escape from this back spawn and and have a free rotation for themselves because you're already spawning out you're already towards the new hill there's nothing you can do you know with 20 seconds left all you can do is you know give them that scrap time and pre be prepared to hold this next hill so let's move on to another example but of a one where you have more parallel spawns and this is something like a, a mercado a lot of mercado hills were like this so if we're talking about this p3 mercado tin hill you know we have teams spawning out ct here we have teams spawning out near p4 maybe here in the tunnel but there's no way for you to actually trap the enemy team back in P3 because there's no P3 spawn back here, right? So this is an opportunity where you have to be early on your rotation. You actually have to be taking routes to be prepared for gunfights at this new hill because you know the enemy team is not being trapped back here. You know, they are spawning out with you, but just on the other side of the map. So you have to be ready for rotational gunfights uh, going into the new hill. This is specifically a big thing, you know, for this P4 or if we're talking about P2 to P3 where you're still spawning out on these sides and you have to take these rotational gunfights. You know, they aren't spawning at the old hill. There's no way for you to trap them. You're both spawning out. You need to be ready to actually rotate early. So this is a situation where you actually have to be thinking to yourself at, tw at the 20 to 30 second mark, you know, if I'm spawning out here, I have to be that, that person that it is my job to start rotating from my squad because I know that at the other side, they're going to be thinking the same thing and they're going to be trying to get there early as well. So this is a situation where it's not a trap setup, but rather a parallel spawn setup where you are both uh, attacking the new hill basically on the same level because of where the spawns are. So one of the golden rules of rotation is specifically if you're playing a trap setup, you do not want to be contesting that back spawn at all costs. If we're talking about this P3 again, and they're spawning here, if you're hitting this gate at 15, 20 seconds, you are just absolutely trolling because that's going to force them to actually spawn out as well. And from there, you're just limiting yourself completely because now you're letting them get out for free. You're giving them that free passage by giving them the free spawn by contesting this close spawn. You know, you don't want these spawns anymore, obviously, because P3 is going to be ending. You want to cut your losses with the scrap time and start actually containing them so you can hold that P4. You know, what this does is you start spawning them out. They have a free passage. They can start hiding in these corners here. And then once P4 starts, you're already, you know, pushed up, let's say, maps here. Your team's playing in the hill, maybe pushed up uh, out here out here and then from this you know this guy in the back let's give him a, a blue color instead this guy in the back 
He's just going to get a free pick on the hill, especially if you're not counting names or tracking players. That's a freebie. You have to adjust your setup now because he got the kill. You have to wrap back and it, it makes a whole uh, mess of a situation because as you're wrapping back, or I should make this a red color, as you're wrapping back, that's giving the other team a position to start getting more space because they're starting to take space here now where you were at before. So now they have this area to free roam because you have to go back and actually help your team back at the hill. So again, do not contest any of those back spawns, 15, 20 seconds. You're already spawning out new. There is no reason to keep pressuring the, the old hill. The big thing for holding the hill with these trap spawns is, let's say we're talking about P3 and this is the spawn in the back. You know, as a team that's holding the hill or spawning in the back here, with those 20 to 30 seconds left, you know, you can take these routes here, but you can also have all of your other teammates, you know, push through the hill, try and get kills. If you can fully empty this spawn with no one on your team and you get a kill on the enemy team, instead of spawning out over here, you know, they're they're going to this close spawn and spawning here. This is a perfect scenario for any team that might be spawning here uh, towards that 20, 30 second mark. So if you're able to get those kills and, and leave the spawn, that's perfect for you guys. You know, same thing for Fortress P2. If you're able to fully empty out this spawn and get kills going into this P3, you're going to spawn them out all the way in Narnia and you're going to have, you know, constant free breaks of man advantages onto this P3. And you're going to have those opportunities before P3 even pops or even if P3 pops and they've already spawned out, you know, they're still having to take this, this journey of a route to try and, and flank you guys while you're trying to break in. So you're going to be able to, to quickly have that man advantage and, and try and take over. So really important, do not obviously contest these spawns. And if you're on the other side and you're in that bad spawn, leave that spawn, empty it out, push through the hill, try and break through that hill and get into the enemy space so that they spawn in that bad spawn. So let's talk about which hills are trap setups, which are parallels. Uh, we'll, we'll skip the P1s just because they're a little bit different just because of how the default spawns work. Uh, so we'll go through the main other hills. So let's say P2 here, uh, you have this back spawn or side spawn here. This is a trap setup. You can cut off these lanes um, and make sure that they're not getting past this line and actually hold for the new hill. They're not spawning out, you know, in new unless you start, you know, actually pushing up and blocking these spawns. We talked about P3, P4, back spawns again, but this is a little bit different because you have to be thinking ahead to the P5. Uh, what would actually be the case is you don't even really want uh, this side of spawns for P5. Most of the time, you'd want to actually be playing in P2 and getting these spawns. So technically, teams would actually just keep forcing uh, along through the scrap time and forcing through the hill playing inside the hill playing through the hill to try to keep these spawns so instead of actually you know rotating towards p5 because that makes no sense you don't want to be spawning in this p3 trap at the start of the p5 you want to actually keep pushing and contesting those spawns even through the later seconds of the hill uh, so that is an exception uh, of one of the rules that we were talking about before moving on to hotel same thing with p1 p2 back spawns you want to be trapping let's say these three angles, not letting them escape through easily to try and get a good rotation onto that P3 and somewhat hide in this back here, maybe disrupt your setup if you're already rotated early to P3. So really maintaining those lanes and keeping those lanes locked down, you wanna be doing that for this hill because of the way they're spawning in the back. We'll talk about P3 now. Uh, we're gonna be having parallel spawns here. Look at where P4 is. You wanna be thinking about where that next hill is. So obviously for the P2 to P3, you're already spawning out towards middle map, towards that P3 area. Here, both teams are kind of like split where they're spawning, you know, diner here or they're spawning bed. You know, both of them have to get on their high horse and race to this P4 hill. This is one where you have to be rotated, you know, trying to get there 20, 30 seconds and, and actually helping out on the rotation in that sense, being ready for gunfights. P4 to P5, we have back spawns P4. We have back spawns here. So maintaining, again, these crosses so that we make sure that they're not rotating to diner early. We can trap them at this setup. And in the best case scenario, we just keep getting kills, trapping them, trapping them. Only want to be careful not to be pushed up too far and actually have one guy rotate towards that P5 early. You know, you don't want to have that P5 pop and have it be wife time. And then with the crazy white time spawns, they get a close one and it's, it's just all for naught where you're spawn trapping them and they get a close spawn for free. You really don't want that to happen. So just make sure you're covering your bases with actually having at least one guy rotate while you're in this trap setup. P6, a little bit of an exception here. Obviously you do have the people spawning out P2 this way uh, at the end of this P5, 
But what you want to do is obviously you want to keep this side of the map in your favor. Make sure you're actually just keeping this cross uh, in intact. You know, you do want to have probably one guy rotating early, but just because there is a possibility for the, a long route uh, towards, you know, that 20, 30 second mark, obviously if you're in that P2 spawn, you do want to be taking those early routes. But on the other side of the map, you know, it is imperative for you to actually just maintain control of this side. So it's not really a trap setup, but you are just covering the lanes like you would in a regular trap setup. Moving on to Embassy P2s, no back spawn. So we have our outside spawns here. That means going into that P3, we're going to have this race again. 20, 30 seconds, be ready for that gunfight. Going from P3 to P4, we have outside spawns. No spawn in the back, but we have P4 spawns where the next hill is. So this is technically like that P6 on Hotel where you want to just be maintaining control of this area, but it's not really a trap setup because there is no spawn uh, at the P3 area. They're going to be spawning, you know, back gas here. So you want to just be maintaining uh, these lanes and making sure that they're not trying to hit the back on you. And in case they do wrap through through the p3 which is another play that teams would do rather than you know trying to hit the back you know actually trying to take both sides of the p4 trying to hit through the tennis court or trying to hit through p2 you are just maintaining both of these lanes by playing safe you know whether it's top p4 or whether it's bottom p4 just playing safe and and maintaining all of those areas uh, on lock p5 we're already spawning out towards the new hill there is a back spawn uh, but it's not really a trap because you can't really trap from, you know, these spawns out here. But you can have a passive trap where you're basically playing, you know, let's say back gas here and you're playing uh, on this heady here. You, you can basically cover these lanes for free and make sure someone's covering laundry, obviously. But there's not a, a full on full trap where you're just spawn trapping them. It is a trap in a sense because uh, they're going to keep spawning back here. Assuming that you're blocking both court and P5. Uh, you want to just be keeping those lanes intact. Obviously, if you're not covering both, there is a chance that they do spawn behind you. So you just have to be in check with that, you know, not contesting that hill later on in those seconds and, and trying to block this spawn. You just want to be maintaining your positioning, limiting them as much as possible, and just constraining them to those areas of the map where they're not passing this line for free. We talked about Mercado a little bit. We'll go over it again. You know, P2 to P3, as I said, we're spawning out over here. Race to the hill. Same thing with P3 to P4. We're spawning out. Race this new hill. There's a little bit more of a nuance here, similar to the Embassy P4, where you're going to be spawning uh, towards this new hill if you're on this side. So you do want to maintain, you know, play safe here. Don't let them get any picks for free. Uh, but they are not spawning, you know, back P3 here. They're spawning on the outside areas of the map. You know, let's go to P4 to P5. Once again, there is no back P4 spawn. We're going to be spawning out here, race to the new hill. Now, P5 to P6, once again, race to the new hill. We're, we're trying to get inside green as quickly as possible and maintaining that position. You know, there isn't this back spawn here where you can full on trap them at. P7, similar to the P4, you're going to be spawning closer to the P7 if you have the better spawns. You know, it's really important to just keep these lanes. You know, they're going to be spawning back CT here. As long as you don't keep hitting and bashing the hill and just actually, you know, taking routes to make sure that all lanes are covered in case they take a long route here. And with this P7, if you're spawning close, you don't want to be obviously you know, pushing out and, and trying to spawn trap them CT here. That makes no sense. They're going to have to be the ones to make, take initiative. They're going to be the ones that have to take this long route here or these long routes through mid. So make them make the move. You know, you can just hold your setups uh, close to the hill and maintain those spawns. Make sure you're not giving any risks to the enemy team for free uh, and, and actually just maintaining position. You know, you don't want to be full on spawn trapping. There's no point to it. Just maintain your position you're already spawning close to the new hill hydro another one with a bunch of traps so again p2 we have the back spawn you can technically trap as long as you keep these lanes uh, fully covered again just make sure that you have one guy rotating you don't want any white spawns with this p3 uh, popping right away moving on to the p3 again back spawns you can trap you can cover these lanes make sure for the p4 that these lanes are covered and you're, you're not contesting this back hill you know, on the other side of this if you're on this p3 and holding you want to be trying to escape this as as much as possible with 30 seconds left you want to be going pushing through this p3 leaving this spawn empty you want to make sure that this is empty because any kills that you might get you're going to make them spawn out here so big kills at the end of the p3 here especially if you're able to leave the spawn with it empty and you know if they're already rotated early they're spawning out over here 
and you guys get one kill for nothing and you've emptied the spawn they're spawning out over here so really big kills in that sense that's how you want to rotate through that p3 moving on to p4 once again we have these back spawns we're playing this trap setup make sure that you're covering these lanes uh to the best of your ability make sure you're at least cutting them off even if you're not killing them you're cutting them off getting that information that they might go p1 you know even if you don't get that kill on the cross and on the other side if you're on that bad spawn make sure you're trying to push through get these kills if anyone on the other team dies and you have emptied the spawn they're spawning out here they're behind you you have a man advantage onto the break onto that next p5 so that does it kind of for the basics of what you're trying to do you know obviously these are mw2 spawns and maps but the general basics of how these rotations work are going to be standard throughout pretty much every call of duty so going into mw3 you're basically going to be seeing these same type of concepts and you're going to be seeing it in pro gameplay too so thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed this in-depth rotating video and i'll see you guys in the next one